your students are going to get an email from you when you set up and send the rubric. The email comes from your username and it says a rubric has been attached to whatever the assignment name is. Students need to open up that email and in that email they will see a link to their document but also a link to the extension that they need to download to be able to access the rubric and do peer self peer and self assessments. So they're going to go ahead and click on that link and it will bring them to the web store. They then need to click on the blue link that says Add to Chrome. And then they need to say Add Extension on the next pop-up that comes up. Students will get a pop-up message saying that Gubrick has been added to their Chrome account. They do need to make sure that they are signed into the Chromebook itself when they are using this. Now, back in the email, they can go back to click on their document and open up their document, or they can get to it from Classroom or from their Google Drive. Now, when they get to their document, they're going to see something new up on the top right-hand side of the screen. So, near the Share button, there's now a button that says, to activate their or authorize their Gubrick. So they need to click on that and then they need to click on the blue button that says review permissions. And they'll get another pop-up. They need to scroll to the bottom and allow the Gubrick extension. Then they can close this window and go back to their document and refresh their document. All right, so back in the document, it still says to authorize Gubrick, so that's why they need to refresh. And now up on the right-hand side, it says to assess, but you also have a pop-up telling you that the rubric is attached. And so you can choose assess this document and that will allow you to do the self review. It brings up the rubric so students can go through and actually read through their document, see what the rubric says and click on the different spots within their rubric. If it's a numeric rubric, they could also type in numbers that are in between. So between 10 and 8, they can put a 9 if they really wanted to, or they can just check on the different boxes. Once they do that, they can also add any notes or comments up at the top before they press submit. To do a peer assessment, what students need to do is share their document with another student to do the assessment. And when they do this, they're going to type in the email address of the person doing the peer review or multiple people. And I recommend that they change it from instead of using edit, give the peer reviewers commenting rights and then press send. Now what's going to happen is they're going to open up this document and they are going to get the little pop-up that tells them that they can assess the document. And they're going to use the rubric in the exact same way that they did the peer assessment. When a student wants to view the feedback that other students have given them, they are going to just refresh their document and when they see the pop-up, instead of saying assess, they're going to say close. And notice up on the right hand side that there's a little red mark with numbers in it and that's how many peer reviews, um, including their own self review, that they have. And they can review the rubric, they can click on the blue next button on the top right hand side to scroll through if they have feedback from multiple students.